Hello everyone. Some time ago I had the idea to make an Ionicraft. And today I'm going to do it. I will assemble an Ionicraft that rises into the air thanks to the ion wind. And it, in turn, occurs when a high voltage of 30,000 volts is applied to the Ionicraft. That is, at this point, the so-called Biefeld-Brown effect occurs. This is a very interesting and entertaining thing. You can watch the whole process of assembling the Ionocraft, as well as its flight, in this video. The approximate dimensions of the Ionicraft are shown in this illustration. You can download it in the Telegram group. I assembled the frame of the ionic craft from thin wooden slats, which I connected with thermal glue. The Ionicraft frame is ready. Now you need to fix aluminum foil around the perimeter of this structure. This should be done carefully and carefully, because the performance of the Ionicraft directly depends on it. The upper edge of the foil should not have sharp edges, because in such places a corona discharge will occur, and the ionic craft will not take off. I made three identical blanks out of foil, which I then carefully fixed on the frame. Now, at a distance of about 3 cm from the foil, I will fix a copper wire with a diameter of 0.1 mm. It, as well as the foil, will be supplied with a voltage of 30,000 volts from a high voltage generator. Ionic craft is ready.
It turns out that such a design what makes it rise into the air? The design of the ionocraft, in fact, is an asymmetric capacitor, where there is an upper electrode and a lower electrode. When a high voltage of 30,000 volts is applied around the upper electrode, the air is ionized, and the ions begin to move downwards at high speed towards the lower electrode. At the same time, ions capture air molecules with themselves. Thus, there is a reactive thrust, which lifts the ionicraft up. There is also a strong ion wind around the ionicraft. We will be able to make sure of its availability today when testing the ionicraft. Unfortunately, the lifting force of such an ionicraft is very small, and it is able to lift only itself. I glued threads to the Iona craft so that the altitude of its flight could be controlled. The supply voltage of the Iona craft is 30,000 volts. As a power source, I will use a homemade high voltage generator. Here in this video you can see how to make such a generator, and what it is capable of. The link to this video will be in the description. You can also download the schematic diagram of this high voltage generator in the telegram group. The link to the group will also be in the description below this video. Join us. The first attempts to lift and fly into the air were unsuccessful. I changed the distance between the electrodes and the length of the holding threads. Adjustments had to be made several dozen times. As a result, ionic craft took off the air. There is a strong air movement around the ionic raft. This is the so-called ion wind. It is so strong that it can easily extinguish a match or a candle. Especially strong air movement around the perimeter of the ionic raft, just where the ions move from the upper electrode to the lower one. The strip of paper also clearly shows the presence of ion wind. In the dark, you can see the glow of the plasma on the upper electrode. This concludes this video. If you liked it, then click the subscribe button so as not to miss a new video on my channel. I thank you for watching and see you soon.